not make the Netherlands home. If we want to protect our societies, if we want to stop the criminal trafficking gangs from benefiting as they are, we must stop the boats coming. Squads of riot police pushing ever deeper into the jungle camp. If Europe thinks they have a problem with migration today, caused by the Arab Spring and what's happened in the Middle East, wait 20 years and see what climate change drives people out of Africa, the Sahel especially, and we're talking now not just one or two million, 10 or 20, and they're not going to South Africa, they're going across the Mediterranean. very simple terms, in the years preceding 2011, which was the year of the Arab uprisings, there had been terrible drought conditions in North Africa and the Levant, and this had particularly hit the Syrians very badly. As a precursor, it was one of the factors that led to the conditions that made Syria explode. I think there's no doubt the drought played a, a major role. The consequences of the Syrian war, most notably the incredible outmigration of uh, Syrians to neighboring countries and then ultimately to Europe, uh, which has caused the worst crisis in Europe since World War II, all can be traced backwards to, to, uh, to some extent to you know, a drought that occurred in the Middle East between 2004 and 2011. 10 meters of sea level rise, I think would displace roughly 500 million, about half a billion people. And Syria has been less than a million refugees, three quarters of a million, about into the EU. Less than a million have shaken the EU to its core. Multiply by 500 and tell me there are not gonna be any security issues. It is places where people are poor, where the climate is li likely uh, to be the most severe, where the changes will be the most severe, that we need to look. Southeast Asia is certainly part of that. Uh, arid countries, the Middle East, South America, we've not even begun to explore the challenges in, in Latin America. Some would equate it to the ship, the battleship that's got the momentum and if you don't start to stop it now, that momentum's just gonna keep it going for, for quite a while. Even if you start now to stop climate change, we have to start. What we're talking about here is an existential threat to our civilization in the longer term. In the short term, it carries all sorts of risks as well. Um, and it requires a human response on a scale that has never been achieved before.